Nationals leader Michael McCormack is resisting calls to sack Nationals deputy leader Bridget McKenzie over the sports rorts scandal. He says he's standing by her after the Prime Minister refused to guarantee a future. Senator McKenzie's future relies on a report from the Prime Minister's departmental secretary who's assessing whether she breached ministerial standards by favouring marginal seats. Now, there are reports that perhaps a meeting will be taking place next week to consider her resignation, but it is certainly a, a fluid situation ahead of Parliament returning on the 4th of February. Scott Morrison yesterday refused to endorse her. It's, it's the right thing to do for me to seek advice on those matters and I'm awaiting that advice and I'll, I'll await for that report. But I'm not going to prejudice uh, the outcome of that report. I think that would be unfair. I said at the time, as you'll recall, that I took these matters very seriously. I took the Auditor-General's report very seriously and we're acting on the recommendations of that report. Yeah, so the Prime Minister not quite uh, endorsing Bridget McKenzie there. Uh, what's the play here? What's the context here? Um, Laura, is he keeping his cards close to his chest? Because, um, yeah. you know, for the layman out there, you know, it seems pretty obvious that, um, that this is going to be an easy mark for, for Labor coming up to the first week um, when Parliament sits and, and they will just keep attacking uh, the government, I would have thought, over this. So uh, the common sense would suggest that something needs to be done before then. Well, Scott Morrison is certainly hedging his bets and it all comes down to this report from his Prime Ministerial, uh, Prime Minister and Cabinet uh, Department. There is a, a technicality here. Uh, the Department Secretary will be looking at the ministerial uh, standards, but uh, many of Bridget McKenzie's supporters, and I've got to tell you, there's a lot of them this mm. morning, both publicly and privately, saying that she can hold on because the technicality that might get her over the line here is that uh, she was a member of the gun club um, because the membership didn't happen till after the grants were handed out. So that might give her, you know, it doesn't pass the pub test, but it might mm. give her a, a technicality in terms of not breaching the ministerial standards. So she had the membership before the, the grant. Uh, no, so, sorry, she had the membership. That didn't happen until after the grants right. were handed out. So okay. the grants were handed out, then she got... Right. Um, you know, ceremonial membership, if you like. Interesting to see Peter Dutton, a senior lib, a member of the right of the party, really backing in Bridget McKenzie this morning, as distinct from... If you strip away the emotion from this debate and look at the facts, which is what we should do, uh, I don't see the case has been made for Bridget McKenzie's removal. So You don't think she did anything wrong? Ministers are elected, are appointed to make decisions, and we all make decisions in our portfolios, but that's exactly what she's done. There was no funding provided to a project that wasn't recommended. Yeah, very strong, wasn't he? Uh, a very strong really defence, uh, which, um, which was absent from the from the PM's response yeah. yesterday. And look, you'd expect that. Uh, yeah. The Prime Minister needs to be a little bit more cautious here. You know, he's the leader of the team um, and he needs to be careful uh, but to mm. not preempt mm. that investigation. Because but they can't do anything, can they? The Nationals have got to sort themselves out, right? The Nationals have to sort themselves out and look, recent history would tell, tell you that uh, look at what happened under Malcolm Turnbull when he was seen to be meddling within National Party matters. The Nationals didn't like that one bit. And the Nationals are telling me this morning, and look, this is not one homogenous group, they're very yeah. uh, diverse views, but they kind of come full circle and said, well, maybe Bridget McKenzie is better the devil you know. Mm. Um, and if they cut her loose, it just helps Scott Morrison out. It mm. just creates turmoil within the National Party. John Barillaro is not in the federal sphere. He's a New South Wales leader. He was another senior member of the Nationals, though, getting behind Bridget McKenzie today. I'd say she should stay because the reality is is that the opposition will always call for resignations and if we always resigned off the back of opposition calls for resignations, uh, we'd ha never have a cabinet. We'd, have, we'd be down at uh, getting, swearing in every, every week because it's just an easy, easy uh, political hit.